Hi Greedy 3 Dears, well today I'm probably one of the hottest days of the year here in the UK. I'm going to make a Sand Trooper from HKD 3D Studios. If you want this model, you can get it from the link in the description. And don't forget, if you're one of my Patreons, you get 50% off not only this, but every other model that HKD 3D do. So stay tuned, I'll show you the making of, of the Sand Trooper. So the first stage is to join the parts together and any gaps I'm going to fill using a little bit of resin welding using one of those precision bottles. You know how I harp on about these precision bottles, but they are awesome. Uh, check the video out that I did, so I'll talk you through the whole process how to use them. Um, I'm going to sand some of the areas down. I want to make sure that everything fits as well as it does. It is really important for you guys to make sure that everything fits at this stage before you start to uh, painting and gluing things together. Get everything as good as it's going to be. You're going to need to sand it. You're going to need to get some of those little knobbets off from the supports. Do all that prior to all your preparation and your paint work and make sure everything fits. It is so, so important. Once that's done, I'm using a filter mask because I'm going to be using some of this white satin finish paint and I do not want to be breathing this in. So I'm using my little booth here with a fan, ventilation fan and also a mask as well to give everything a coat of this. You don't always need to use your airbrush. This stuff is great for Stormtrooper because uh, it, it will give you just one layer and it will be all on there, just what you need. Take your time, get it on there, no runs, and then I'm going to use some of this uh, this terrain primer from Army Painter Games Master Set to give the sand base a bit of a blast, and the very lower base is just going to get some of this matte black as well, and that's the base virtually done. While I've got the matte black out, I'm turning around to some matte black now rather than any shiny, and I'm just going to give all of these sort of uh, extra bits a coat of this black his weapons his backpack and the little ammo pouches that he carries are all going to be getting that so a whole layer of black all over it and i didn't want that shiny i wanted that nice and matte and while i've got the airbrush out i'm carefully going over some of the black where the black joins the white i'm not going to get it all the way up to the edge because i'm going to do that with a brush but i am going to get it as close as i can to just save me a little bit of time when i'm using the brush if you don't feel confident enough to do this do it all with the brush and that's what it looks like when it's on. I still need to tidy up a little bit, but the black is on there and it's on there enough now for me to glue everything together. Now that prep work has paid dividends as I'm putting everything together. I'm just using some super glue and some super glue activator to put it all together. You could use the five minute epoxy. I just like the speed that this stuff works and I've had no real problems with it. I'd be interested to hear what you guys use to glue things together and what your views are of super glue, but it works for me. Now, when you're doing the legs into a base, make sure you don't just stick the legs on and then try and fit it in the base. I like to put the legs into the base and then glue the rest of it onto the legs. So I know that when it's all glued together, he will fit nicely on the base. A few little subsidiary bits going on now before we move across to the brushing section. Now the model's a HKD 3D Studios model. Uh, I've done a couple of his models and they go together so, so well. I'm really pleased with this. Link in the description to where you can get it from. Now I'm going to be using some brushes that I've been gifted to make Sand Trooper and these are absolutely beautiful. Now I wouldn't just say that and I'm not just saying it because they were gifted to me. They were gifted to me to try but I said I would give an honest review of them and they've been absolutely fantastic. The point on them is brilliant. It holds the point really really well and there's 15 in that pack there and um, check out the dry brushes. Absolutely fantastic. As I say there's going to be a link in the description where you can get them from but highly highly recommended from Greedy 3D. Now using one of those brushes and just some matte black army painter paint, I'm going to paint old Stormy's eyes in nice and black. I'm trying to keep it nice and level. I don't want to sort of go over all the white with the black, so take your time with this. And uh, these brushes are great for the fine work. They hold their points really, really well. There's no little stray bristles that you don't want. And uh, it's really important when you're doing some close fine work like this. I'm just giving him all the areas of black. If you're not sure what to paint on Old Stormy, just find a reference picture. Google is full of them. And uh, that will tell you exactly what you need to paint and where you need to paint it. And take your time. As I say, use a really, really narrow brush and that will do. You might need to touch up some of the white across and that's fine. I've needed to do that as well. There's a couple of 
areas of black there where I just want to line it up with some white to make it even crisper. Now taking some uniform grey, his helmet has got a few patches of grey on it in certain areas and again reference picture on the old Google is absolutely fantastic for this but just take your time with it and uh, plaster on that grey in the areas that it needs to go. Now don't forget, if you're one of my Patreons, you can get 50% off this HKD 3D Studio model. Indeed, you can get 50% off all his models. Well worth joining the Patreon, just for that reason, if not alone, to keep me in light and food. And there we go, he's done and dusted virtually. I wanna put some, obviously some shading on him and some battered effects, but the whole work is done. Right, some null oil, this stuff is golden I absolutely love non oil I'm gonna splatter it on the white now you might have a little bit of oh my god moment when you see this going on for the first time but rest assured as long as you don't leave it on there for too long it'll come off just fine so I'm taking a cloth you can take a little bit of sponge and just dab it off I want to get the majority of it off but I want to leave some of that darkness in the background I've had a couple of comments when I put the pictures on to say how did you do the shading well this is how I did it I did the same thing if you recall on R2D2 just to age him up a little bit but it's exactly the same and this stuff works really well when there's lots of nooks and crannies and divots it sits in the background it's wonderful so same principle evolved just pop it on dab it off pop it on dab it off and I am going to go across the whole of the stormtrooper doing this uh, I won't talk you through the whole process but it took me a long long time but just take your time with it try to make it as even as you can and get the whole thing done and that's what he looks like battered aged he's been on Tatooine this guy he's been forgotten about he hasn't been promoted well he might have been promoted he's got an orange powder and I think that makes him a little bit of a, uh, a commander of some kind um, but he, he's definitely been battered on Tatooine you can see that same again with his helmet and give the null oil a blast across that um, as I say there was a little bit of a moment when I was putting this on it was a kind of oh my god have I ruined everything moment but it comes off really easy and that's the whole point of it confidence to just have a blast and have a play and as a secret I did try it on something separately just to make sure it worked before I did it on the actual model and there we go there's his helmet really well battered now we need a bit of sand on there as well which we will come back to a little bit of shining silver now while he's drying that null oil he's drying um, and I'm gonna dry brush uh, all the black bits on the model starting off with his gun and his uh, the, the sights and everything else he's gonna get a layer of black all the way across his backpack as well especially got quite a few layers of this I really wanted that to stand out and the detail in this backpack is, is absolutely lovely and I really wanted to give it some justice by giving it a real good blast over with the uh, dry brush same again for his ammo pouches and I've used some of this AK paint I've never really used AK paint before this is one of the rust colors and I've just took it on a little bit of a sponge I've dabbed it in and I'm gonna get it off the sponge with a with a sort of bit of kitchen paper and I'm just gonna dab it on and that is the Tatooine sand effect and that's how I got it on there um, this color was absolutely perfect now if you haven't got this color you just need an orangey sandy color you don't want it too thick you just want it nice and light on a sponge or maybe on a bit of tissue or if you feel confident enough to do it on a brush just dry brush it on but I wanted to dab it on I wanted it to look even all over I certainly didn't want it to look uniform and I wanted it to look darker in some areas than the rest of it so I tried to concentrate in the areas that would gather sand naturally and I just blasted it all over him um, did I do a little bit too much maybe I'm not sure what do you guys think perhaps you could do less perhaps you could do more but I like it I like the way it's come out I really did enjoy that and uh, same again on his helmet don't forget that now I've used one of these flat sponges to paint the emblem these are great because they're flat so this emblem has got obviously embossed bits on it and with the black flat edge with a bit of black paint on it means I get no black on the actual white great tip for you there guys Archer Angel red for his pauldron and I've just masked it off as you can see and giving it a blast to this uh, this orange color and that's the uh, stormtrooper sand trooper done see what you think
Well, there we go. Uh, one of my favourite models uh, that I've done so far, to be honest. I love Star Wars, love Stormtroopers. I did have a life-size suit at one stage. Not that I wore it, before anybody says that. Uh, still got the helmet here, and I've got now this Sand Trooper to go with my Star Wars collection. Hope you've enjoyed that today. If you have and you like what you see, don't forget you can subscribe to the channel. Buy anything you need to buy from the channel itself from the description. A little bit will get back to the channel. Have a look at our Patreon scheme if you don't mind. Might be nice to get you on board to help me continue to make stuff like this. But above all, like it, share it, comment. Let me know in the little box YouTube leaves you to leave a little comment. What you think, do you like it, don't you like it? What would you have done differently? Um, it's great for you to link in with me. So please, please leave me a comment. Hope you've enjoyed that. And I'll see you next time real soon on Greedy 3D. Thanks for watching.